All right, so now that you have your home page and your blog postings page, we're going to create um, the third page to start off our Google site. So remember to create a new page. You come over here uh, where it has the little addition button. Okay, and this is create a new page. And we're going to call this page about me. Okay, and we also want this to be a web page at the top level, so keep everything the same, and then click create. On your about me page, I'd like for you to write two to three paragraphs about yourself. Okay. Um, I'd also like you to insert two to three pictures. These could be pictures of you doing something. They could be pictures of something you love that you're going to talk about. Um, and the last thing that will be new to you guys is to insert two to three links. Um, so let's talk about how to, you already know how to write paragraphs and how to insert pictures. Um, but I'm going to talk about how to insert a link onto your page. For example, I could say, you know, my name is Carrie Valentine, capital, Valentine, and I attend the University of Georgia. Now, I could just leave this as is, but it would be really nice to create a link so that if someone else wanted to check out the University of Georgia, they could just click on this link and it would take them there. So if I highlight the University of Georgia and I click this little thing that looks like a chain link, it'll ask me, do I want to link to an existing page in my Google site or do I want to link to a web page, a web about the app script right now? Um, and so what I'm going to do is actually search for University of Georgia. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to go to the page I want to link to. Now, you might actually want to go to your particular department. Um, for example, um, well, I could search this, but I'm just going to link here for right now. Um, you're going to highlight the web page and do a control copy or, or just memorize the web page um, and then paste it as a web address. One of the things I want to point out is there's an option to open this link in a new window. Please always select this because that way people aren't taken away from your site, um, but rather it opens in a new window on their web page. When you click OK, you'll see this box that pops up. Um, if I click off of the link, it goes away. Now if I click on the link again, there it is. This allows me to remove or change the link. Okay, the same happens with pictures. For example, let's say I want to insert a photo. Remember, we go to Insert Image. Okay, and I'm going to browse my desktop for pictures. I think I took all of my pictures off. Um, let me go to, I'm just going to select this as an image. Okay, and I'm going to click OK. Wow, that's a really large image. Uh, notice how this box comes up that lets me edit. Well, let's say you click off of that and then you're left with this big picture and you don't know what to do. If you just click on the picture, this um, editing box pops up again. I'm going to change the size of this to medium. Now, one of the things I didn't show you last time, I showed you how you could align the picture. You can change the size. You can also choose to wrap text around your picture. Okay, and right now I believe, yeah, it's not wrapping text. I'm going to actually choose to wrap text so you can see what that looks like. Um, and then I'm going to click off of it. Now this way I can actually talk about, you know, this is me skiing, although it's not. We'll pretend it is. Um, and I might link to another site where maybe it's a mountain I'm skiing on. Who knows? Anyhow, this is how you create a link, insert a picture, and I believe you guys can write two to three paragraphs. Um, and then click Save. Okay, and now you can see what your About Me page should look like.